Hi, my name is Karen Marie. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, it's Friday afternoon and uh, I'm done with work and it has been chucking down all day. It's just dismal outside. It's really autumn now and I thought that I would sort of lighten my own mood by <laughs> taking a trip to my local fabric store. Uh, my local fabric store is about 25 minutes drive away from my house and it is a one of a kind fabric store. <laughs> it's not it's not a part of a chain or anything. Um and it is it's been here for quite a while. They have like clothes, um like ready to wear clothes, but they also have lots of fabric and uh, haberdashery and all of that kind of things. Um, they do have a lot of dead stock fabric, um, so it's possible to make a really good deal, <laughs> which I appreciate. But the, actually, the best part of their store is that the proprietress is unbelievably knowledgeable. <laughs> I mean, she can probably name every single piece of fabric that she has in here. And as you will be able to see in just a moment, there's lots of them. <laughs> there are rolls and rolls of everything from, from, uh, you know, canvas and, uh, <laughs> and viscose to jerseys and everything. She has got it all. Um, it is also a fabric store that my mother, uh, who passed away several years ago, loved to visit. So it's all, uh, you know, a way to make myself feel better on this dismal Friday afternoon. So I hope that you will be uh, coming with me into the store and that I'm allowed to film a little bit. So see you soon.
Hello again. <laughs> it is now Saturday and uh, the reason that I am back today is because when I got back yesterday from my fabric shopping, I was very ready for supper <laughs> and I had to eat before I could uh, film anymore. And by the time I was done, it was really too dark outside to see the fabrics. But I thought that, you know, when I invited you to go fabric shopping with me, you would want to see what I got. So it's um, it's Saturday now. Uh, my hair is still wet. I was just in the shower. <laughs> Please excuse that. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, before I do, however, um, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I am wearing a brand new shirt that I made up last night. Um, this is uh, the asymmetric shirt by Patterns by Lucia. Uh, she is an Italian designer. She has quite a few patterns um, and uh, her pattern shop is on Etsy. Um, and I have quite a few of her patterns. Uh, she was one of the first independent patterns designers I bought from and I came across her her patterns by accident <laughs> on, on Etsy. But I really do like this uh, asymmetric shirt. It has an opening like asymmetric, huh, the name, uh, right here. Um, and it's just a, a plain sort of shirt all the way down. And I made this in the white cotton poplin that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. So on to the fabrics. <laughs> Um, the first thing that I bought was this, um, it's a suiting, I think, I think it has some wool and probably some polyester, if I'm honest, um, in it. Um, it feels quite sturdy, um, it is not, not a very heavyweight suiting, but not very lightweight either, so... Um, it has a little bit of drape to it and you, as you can see it is kind of, um, it has this very dark green and navy blue um, with a very subtle, I think, um, like mustard stripe or sorry, um, plaid in it. And I got two meters of this um, and I thought I might make um, a pencil skirt or um or a pinafore uh, i have been wanting to sew up the utu pinafore from named clothing from um the um goodness what's it called again breaking the pattern book i made one for my sister and she loves it um i have been sort of ooming an eye over it and wondering whether i should just make the skirt the utu skirt or make the full pinafore um I think this the skirt may be a better idea, seeing as I'm at least slightly pear shaped, so um, a pinafore might not sit right on me. <laughs> but I I'm very tempted to make um, either the the Uchu pinafore or the um, skirt Uchu skirt. So two meters should be plenty for that. The next thing I bought was um, it's not easy to see because it's black. And, but it is um, quite a, a good weight um, French terry um, with, that has a very like brushed backsides to it. So it feels so soft and so nice. <laughs> uh, it is a, it's a cotton French uh, terry. Um, and I bought over two meters of this. Um, I never really buy that much, but I thought that I might make the... I am rainbow uh, from I am patterns um, and make it the the longer length zipper um, jacket or hoodie uh, I have made one um, of the I am rainbow hoodies before I made that in just a couple of weeks ago um, and I'm, I, I really like it I the only thing I don't like is that the hood is not lined. So I think I'll change that for this. But I thought that a uh, kind of a longer length uh, hoodie jacket might be really good for those colder days when I just want to sort of snuggle up inside uh, my sweater. And then I can um, wear it on top of a t-shirt, but also like a, a turtleneck or something like that when it's really cold outside. 
The third thing I got was this. Oh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> this is not my color. It's it's really not. It's um it's a sort of sandy color with um an orange stripe to it. But I thought that I could get away with it because I don't intend to wear it up to my face. <laughs> um this is um a cotton linen blend, I think. It's not always easy to know the exact composition um, from that fabric store because they buy a lot of dead stock um, and uh, because they tend to sort of roll their fabrics onto new kind of rolls. So it's not exactly, you can't always go by what it says on the roll. Um, but it certainly feels very linen-y. <laughs> Is that a word? linen -y? Um, it has a very like slub texture, so I'm pretty sure uh, that it is um, it is linen. I can see it and I can feel it, but I don't. I think it is a, a cotton linen blend. Um, I got a very good price for this. Um, it was just it was ninety eight krona per meter, which is about maybe eight pounds a meter. Um, and it's really good quality. So I thought, I got three meters of it and I thought I'd make the Paradise Patterns prettier pants because I love that pattern. Um, and maybe if I have enough fabric, I should have enough fabric, um, I can make one of those um, waistcoats uh, to go along with it. I have a waistcoat pattern uh, from Wardrobe By Me um, that I made up already. Uh, once and I really would like to make some more like coordinating sets and then I can wear um, wear them either together or separately obviously um, and it's it's kind of nice to have something that coordinates. The last piece that I bought was a fabric that I've bought before <laughs> and this is um, a linen viscose blend. Um, I know linen in October it's not it's not very wise of me to do that, but the thing is, I bought this uh, fabric earlier this summer and I just fell in love with it. Um, and I thought I made one of the Friday Pattern Company um, Saturday skirts, uh, skirts in it. And I just love the fabric so much that I would like to make something uh, into a top that I can also wear um, in more like the winter or the other seasons apart from summer <laughs> even though it is very summery so here she is and I just I love this uh, purpley lilac color in the background with the kind of different color floral pattern in between and I actually even though I can't wear orange honestly can't but but I just love this little splash of color in inside it and it's just holding it upside down, I think, or maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, and I just, I just love it. And I love linen viscose. It is just one of my favorite blends. <laughs> and I can't wait to make this up um, into something. I haven't quite decided what to make, what kind of top I want to make with it, but probably a shirt that I can wear with jeans uh, when I'm, um, you know, in work, at work or something like that. Um, but I don't know exactly what shirt I would like to make, or maybe I'll just make something else, a top or something. I don't know. But that was what I bought yesterday. Um, I also bought a couple of zippers and yeah, <laughs> things like that, but you don't have to see that. Um, but I thought you wanted to see the fabrics. So thank you for coming with me uh, fabric shopping. I hope you enjoyed seeing the, the fabric store. Um, <laughs> it is a one of a kind thing that uh, that fabric store. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it is unique and that they have a lot of dead stock. I love that the people who work there really know their stuff and know where, you know, things come from. <laughs> um, the woman that I shopped uh, from yesterday, um, 
is actually a dressmaker um, or, or tailor. Um, so she was standing in for the proprietors uh, yesterday, but I, I mean, they know their stuff uh, and I, I really like that. I have to admit that it's not always easy to find what you're looking for if you're looking for something very particular because it is just absolutely bursting at the seams, pun intended, uh, with, with fabric. It's something, it, it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, so if you're looking for something very particular, it's not easy to find it. They don't have an online store, but I've been told that they would gladly send things through mail and everything, but then you have to know obviously what you want, which is not very easy when they don't have an online presence. But um, it is, it's lovely to go shopping there because it is so unique. So even though it's easy to find the things that I want in, you know, online stores or or maybe like self-made or something like that. I do appreciate that it is not easy to run an independent um, sewing um, shop or fabric shop uh, these days. And I like to, you know, offer my support and spend some money in my local shops. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching my fabric haul and, um, I'll see you all later. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.